Hey, Brennan here doing a test on Simply Static today to get it set up with GitHub. And so I already have it set up working on a couple other sites already that are that are currently on static pages on Cloudflare. So just to just to show you what, what I'm talking about, let me come to the page here. And right here I've got a brick site. This is on a local WP site, right? So I've got um, a dot static local WP. And on this, this is what's been pushed to a live subdomain. This could be a live domain itself, but it's on just a subdomain. And so right here, I'm going to just change the blue. So let me just come to my static site again, and I'll change this blue to like, uh, let me just save that in case I need it. Let me just change that to like a red, and then I'll change the whole site. I'll commit that on ACSS. And again, this is on my static local WP environment. And so once I save that, I'm going to save it in bricks as well. And if I come to the static site, nothing's changed, of course, it's still blue. So what I need to do is come to my static site on local WP, and I have simply static installed, and I'll just hit, uh, I'll hit generate. And that should already pick up my changes. Um, looks like it's already found and committed all these changes, is that right? No, this is from 30 minutes ago when I was testing. So <laughs> let me just let me just hit uh, update here. And so hopefully this change log will disappear and our new change log will set up. Yep, that's uh, 3.30 p.m. And that is what time it is. So it's setting up and it's basically saying, okay, let's make a new version of that site and export it to GitHub. And while that's going down, I will come back to another site I have set up here and just go over... Um, some of my notes here. This is another static site on local WP. Now, just to go over what I'm talking about here, what is static hosting? Uh, basically, what we're doing is we're taking a, a WordPress website and we're using the Simply Static Pro plugin to push those changes into a Git repo that we're about to set up. So you're going to need, for this process, you would need Simply Static Pro, of course, which is paid, but then you just need a free GitHub account. And we need to have a repository created in there that will build the static site. And then we need to have a Cloudflare account. You can create a free Cloudflare account if you don't have one. And basically we need somewhere where we can static host the site, the, the pages that come from the GitHub repository. So you don't have to use Cloudflare pages. You can export it to Netlify. Uh, Bunny CDN works well. I set that up. Uh, I think DigitalOcean Spaces is deprecated. AWS will be a little more complex. But in any case, um, you have some options there on where you want to host the files. So let me come back again to the site. This is the one that's on the subdomain, so it's a you know, live site. Let me refresh. And there's our red. So that has been pushed to Git and then from Git up to Cloudflare pages. Okay, so let's do this same process again. Let me close some of these out and close that out. Okay, so here I am on my um, st static site. I have um, the site set up uh where is it of course it doesn't show up in here but basically you just have to create whatever your site is in lo in local wp uh they the team at simply static recommended i use apache instead of nginx so that might that might help you the other thing i had to do is i needed to change this is by default it's dot local i needed to change it to anything else it didn't work otherwise so if you run into that just change it from dot local to you know dot static or whatever you want to name it okay so the problem is i don't see my site in here let me just let me just stop all these and this will probably crash this site but we'll come back to it in a second so let me just restart local but basically you just need to put simply static on any of your local sites that you have i can see i have a bunch in here uh, static demo, there it is. So that is the one I've created. That is static demo. You can see that matches there. I you might you want to you want to make sure that you put the trust for the SSL on there, otherwise it won't work. So let's just uh, let's log back into this site. And so it's going to show us the site. And let me come back to my settings. Let's just like look at the homepage. All right, so this is, we have a dark version of the site. Keep that in mind. Now, what we need to do is go to create these things at GitHub. So uh, let me go back to GitHub, and I just made a, another free account. I don't have any repositories in here. 
Um, you can make it public or private, but basically we're just going to make one for static demo. And this is where all the files will sit for, from WordPress. Um, where did my... I didn't get to make a readme file, did I? Uh, let's just make a new one. Let's just do uh, a <laughs> new repository, add readme. Let's do static demo v2. Okay, and we have to remember what our repository name is. So we'll create that. And um, what we also need to do is come up to our GitHub settings here and come down to settings tab, click settings, then scroll all the way down on the left here to developer settings, click that. And we need to make a token for, for GitHub to be able to connect to our site. So we'll come to personal access tokens and we want to make a classic token that's not in beta. So let's just make that and then generate new token, generate new token classic. And we'll again, call it static demo or whatever. I'll set the expiration to, doesn't matter. I'm going to delete this, but if you want, you can set it to no expiration, I guess. They, they, they recommend you don't do it. So I, I guess probably listen to them. <laughs> Uh, in any case, now we need to, to find some scopes for the key, for the key for the GitHub uh, access key. So we want to give it repo access. Uh, we want to give it admin organization status. We want to give it admin repo hook status. Uh, we want to um, we want to give user access, I guess. And we simply static says we want delete repo. Is that right? Yeah. And um, so the, those, and then scroll all the way to the bottom to SSH signing key, we want that as well. All right, so then we'll generate the token and make sure to copy this because it will not be displayed again. So I'm gonna come back to my, I don't know, my email here. I'm just gonna save it in here, static demo GitHub key. Okay, so we have that on file for when we need it. So that should be all we need to do in GitHub itself. Uh, if you need to make new repositories, you can do that in GitHub and, um, but in any case, I have this new repository as well as my accidental one. So I will copy that and let me go back to my WordPress site and we come to simply static in the settings and we come down to deploy. I'm not going to go through every simply static setting in here. Um, I will go ahead and delete all this stuff. Basically you have deployment methods, right? So if you do bunny, you have various bunny, uh, CDN storage key, pull zone, all that stuff. If you're familiar with that, we're going to do GitHub. So, um, Again, you'll need to put your um, GitHub username in and your GitHub password or GitHub uh, email, right? And then my personal access token, let's copy that. And is that an extra, did it copy the space? Let's see, okay. I'm here and I will post paste that into my personal access key for GitHub. Uh, the repository is not static demo, but static demo v2 because I misspelled it. <laughs> All right, we'll save those settings there. Okay, so now we can, let's look at GitHub. Let's look at the repository really quick. We haven't done anything yet, so it's empty. All right, so let's, on uh, Simply Static, let's go ahead and it's telling me I have some kind of error here. What is it? It's telling me I have SSL. I get this error time to time. You gotta make sure this, this is on in local, but um, it has been on and it still says this sometimes. So it might just be a, might be a bug. I will hit export. And what it should do is go and create all those files at GitHub. So here it is, it is fetching the pages from WordPress and it is pushing that to GitHub. So we will see again, this is empty now. Once this is finished, it's created 21 of 21 pages, so it's done. And now if I come back to GitHub and refresh, um, it is, I guess it's, okay, now it's done. Now it says wrapping up done. So it, once it, once it says it's committed, it's not done yet. <laughs> you got to wait for it to say done. Let's come back to refresh. Perfect. So there it is. There is the site. It is exported into GitHub. Now you can do whatever you'd like with it. Of course, uh, what we're going to do is come back to Cloudflare pages now. So I have Cloudflare pages. Uh, when you log in, instead of clicking websites, you want to click workers and pages. Now we have, I already have two in here. This is the one I just did right before this video. This is from earlier this year, but I will hit create. And I'll select the pages tab here and I'll say connect to Git. And you can see it's already connected to my Git. Uh, but if you wanted to add your own, you know, obviously the first time you log in, you just have to connect it, log in, give the password, you get the idea. It sees my two repositories. Let's select the static demo v2. Let's begin setup. And that's all we need to do. It's going to pull from the production branch. You know, if you have other branches, you can do that. 
Uh, we don't have any build commands or anything like that. We'll just save and deploy. So this will, again, take a, take a minute or so to build. It's Now it's going out, it's cloning the Git repository and then building the application based off of what's in the Git. So as changes get made, um, you know, you can save, save and have it export to Cloudflare pages. So let's click our temporary site. Now, I seriously doubt it's done. I'll click it. Nothing happens yet. Um, we'll come back to our pages. And you would see various versions too as we update. We'll update this in a minute, but basically you have the main domain. Um, and then you have, you can choose different deployment branches, of course. You can come up to custom domains, right? So, you know, if you want to add your custom domain, you can do that here. Uh, in any case, this will this will probably take a minute to to build. It's not going to be instant, um, but we'll we'll give it a second to to build, and then we can we can see what it looks like. Um, yeah, it'll take it'll definitely take a minute. Um, but yeah, that's that's basically how it works. Now, uh, if we come back to the site. Um, if we made additional changes, so let's like make another, let's just make a new page. Let's call it, uh, let's call it uh, about, and this is about me and I'll publish this and I'll go ahead and like make this the new home page or something, or I'll just add it to the menu, I guess. Um, editor, navigation, let's already put it up there. Uh, well, that's fine. We'll, we'll just leave it like this and let's come back refresh okay so perfect so this is the page from cloudflare this is on a dot pages dot dev that means the the site is working so um there it is the static demo v2 dot pages dot dev that is now live on cloudflare pages okay so let's come back to our static site this is the one again that's on local wp it hasn't been uploaded to Cloudflare yet. Let's come in and change the styles. Let's just like make it a make it this like orange tan color. I'll save that. And you know, it hasn't it's not gonna update anything yet. But if I come to the front end, right? You know, it's light mode. Uh let me see. This this is the this is the Cloudflare page. Oops, this is the one. Uh so static demo v2. You can see it's still in dark mode. Can see there's the about page but here's the the static page so how do we get this to to update again we come back here we do simply static and it looks like it's it looks like it's auto generating i'm not sure if i i, I might have hit generate <laughs> which might auto auto do it which is basically the point right we wanted to to push the changes it's basically the same thing as saving but it pushes it up to the static site. All right, so let's look at the home page. It's this light color. This one's still dark, and that one will we'll have to wait. We'll have to wait a minute. So I think I think it's just gonna go. It seems like it already did this. So if I come back to Cloudflare, well, yeah, we can see here. Here's a few seconds ago. You can see these are basically the changes that I've made, and you, it's set to automatically go to production. Um, right. So, but you could you could sort of version control this a bit. Uh, but in any case, let me click on the link again. And now it's a light color page because that is what we've decided to push from the static site up to uh, the cloud, uh, Cloudflare pages, right? So there's our change. Um, and I wonder if you can see these other versions of them. Can I click that? That uh, doesn't seem to. But I could like roll back changes, right? I could roll back to the... In fact, why don't we, why don't we try that? Um, all right, so this change here, the, the most recent one is the one where I made it light mode. But if I just, I guess I could just roll back to this. See what that does. Roll back. And let's see how long that takes. So it's still on light. Oh, and it's like instant. So now it's dark. So I can actually switch, right? I can go to roll back to the... And look, that one is now, it's showing me the status, right? So even though it's it was deployed before, right? But it's now the most recent one, so I could, I suppose I could roll back to this light version and refresh. Wow, that's instant. Okay, that basically shows what I wanted to show. I hope that made sense. I know that it's like kind of a lot of moving parts, um, but basically, yeah, you can have your local WP environment and push that up to um, push any changes to your GitHub. 
right? It can be a public or private repository, but you have it all in GitHub, and then it automatically pushes it up to Cloudflare pages once you've um, connected it. And again, you can use bunny.net, works very similarly. Uh, and I'm, you know, I'm sure like AWS is a little more set up, but I'm sure it works very well too. So anyway, that is basically how you do it. Um, I hope that was helpful. And let me know if you have any questions, because I know that it's a little, it's a couple steps back and forth, right? So let me know if that, um, yeah, let me know if you have questions. Hopefully that helps. Bye.